So we just use the official Google Maps MCB server to give us the best route to the best hamburger in the world with the least amount of hallucinations. As always, there's a lot going on in the world of AI, but there's one thing that caught my eye that I don't think a lot of people are talking about. And that is Google launching remote MCPs for all services. So if we click through to this article, we get a blog post on Google Cloud detailing how they are releasing MCP for all Google services. This is a big deal because until now, MCP really wasn't adopted on the enterprise level, but according to this blog post, that's the way it's heading. So I'm gonna go over it really quickly and then install one of the MCP servers that's already officially released from Google. Today, we're announcing the release of fully managed remote MCP servers, providing a unified layer across all Google and Google Cloud services. Developers can now simply point their AI agents or MCP clients to a globally consistent and enterprise ready endpoint for Google and Google Cloud services. Customers can now expose and govern their own developer build APIs as well as third-party APIs as discoverable tools for agents. We are incrementally releasing MCP support for all our services, starting with Google Maps, BigQuery, Google Cloud Compute, and Google Kubernetes Engine. So they're only releasing four official remote MCP servers right now. We're going to try Google Maps. Look at number two, BigQuery. For all the data scientists, for the people that are using large amounts of data and copying and pasting it into ChatGPT, Claude, whatever, an official BigQuery MCP server from Google enables agents to natively interpret schemas and execute queries against enterprise data without the security risks, latency, or moving data into context windows. Essentially, whatever agent you're using will be able to talk directly to BigQuery. You won't have to pass all the data back and forth. BigQuery should only return exactly what you need. And when I think about this on a larger scale, of all of Google services, this shows that MCP is not going anywhere. It is only going to grow. With the new Cloud API Registry and Apigee API Hub, developers could find trusted MCP tools from Google and their own organizations. We pair this ease with the discovery of the rigorous control administrators can manage via Google Cloud IAM, rely on audit logging, and utilize Google Cloud Model Armor to defend against advanced agentic threats such as indirect prompt injection. Here they show an example of an agent via ADK using the MCP service. With these new and extended MCP capabilities, we are ensuring developers and agents can easily interact with data and take actions too. As a founding member of the Agentic AI Foundation, we will continue to contribute to the evolution of MCP. So now let's check out the new Google Maps MCP server. Connects AI agents to trusted geospatial data, offering access to fresh information on places, weather forecasts, and routing details such as distance and travel time. This allows developers to build agents that can accurately answer real-world location and travel queries without hallucinating. I remember when MCP first came out, there was a Google Maps reference server, but it wasn't official and it wasn't remote. So let's take a look at this one. They're calling this one grounding light. There's three tools, search places, look up weather and compute routes. I think the reference one had more tools than that. So it allows LLMs to call new tools exposed to the server to return additional grounding information for the data types listed above. Let's try this prompt. What's the weather in Somerset, New Jersey? And it's calling Gemini and it's using weather lookup. Seeing this interactive map, we kind of see where that whole MCP UI is going. Right now we can use this ground light MCP server for free while it's experimental. Okay, so how do we use it? You can either use an API key or you can use OAuth. OAuth is definitely what we want to do for remote MCP servers. And they're giving an example for how to set it up for Gemini CLI, but I'm tired of using the command line. So let's do cloud desktop. So now let's just see if the MCP shows up. There we have it, maps, grounding, light. And we see the three tools. So let's just try it out. When leaving Dodger Stadium after a game, heading home towards Santa Monica, what is the best In-N-Out burger I could stop at that won't become too much of a detour? Use the grounding light MCP. And we don't need Opus for this. I think my dude Haiku will be fine. Okay, so Claude wants to use the Maps Grounding Light MCP. Always allow. Based on your route, the In-N-Out burger on Washington in Marina Del Rey is your best option. The Venice location, classic, would be the second best option if you prefer something a bit earlier, but the MDR location gives you the best convenience factor. So we just used the official Google Maps MCP server with Claude to calculate the best In-N-Out location to go to after a Dodger game. But the point of the story here is that Google is releasing official remote MCP servers for all of their services. And it has huge implications for the future of MCP. Now that it's part of the Agentic AI Foundation, MCP is locked in. It is being recognized and adopted by enterprise companies. It's not just small companies and startups anymore. I can already see so many possibilities once Google rolls this out to more of its services. If only they release the master MCP that controls Google Cloud Platform, life would be amazing. But like they say, with great power comes great responsibility. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or feedback, drop it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.